So, you're not as dead as we thought you'd be. Surprise. I also like how sweet it is that Percy is so worried about Grover. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like people downplay like how important Grover is for the whole Percy and about Grover trio and just how Grover is Percy's best friend. Yeah. And I feel like people forget about that because they focus so much on the romance stuff. Yeah. They just forget that, no, Grover is his best friend. Grover was friends with him before he even knew he was, like, who he was. Um, yeah. And it's, and I love, I always love that about Sea of Monsters, that the thing that worries him and makes him need to figure out what's going on is that he got scared by having a bad dream about Grover being chased by something and he's like I have to go save my friend yeah and I mean there's something so pure about them having this link as best friends mm -hmm. yeah the I think that happens in this book where they where they do the empathy link thing um mm -hmm. where Grover can like feel Percy's emotions which like <laughs> yeah my god <laughs> why would you not want to be able to feel how your best friend is doing without actually having to talk to them yeah and i mean I, th I feel like i've had friendships like that in real life where it's like i just have a feeling that i need to like text them or go find them or something like that i love it because i do that with you sometimes and it's really funny like <laughs> i remember a couple a couple weeks ago all of a sudden i just got this feeling i was like i should send mandy like a motivational happy like <laughs> reel on instagram and i'm like why do i want to do this suddenly and i just like and i sent it to you and literally right after i sent it to you i saw like a post you made where you were sad about something and i was <laughs> like i swear i didn't see that before i sent that to you i just for some reason was like mandy's probably sad today and yeah. i was like i don't know why I, why I, why i did that it just happens like that sometimes and it would be helpful honestly especially i like i think i like the empathy link a lot because if you lived in like a if you were in like a magical world like this where that existed and your best friend was percy jackson <laughs> and was like always in the middle of everything and people are constantly putting him in the middle of these horrible situations yeah. I would also want to have something there where I could check on him to make sure he's still alive and yeah. that he's okay. Um, so that if he's not okay, I could contact him and talk to him and ask him what's going on. Um, that just makes sense. Like if, if I was in danger, like, or if I had somebody who could be in danger, I would want to make sure that they were okay. In like a modern day equivalent, I guess, and a technological equivalent rather than magical is sharing your location with somebody. Cause that's kind of like, that's the best we can do, you know, is like look at each other's stories on social media, couple that with locations and then be like, oh, shoot, maybe I should check on this person. Mm -hmm.